that's why I drew it. My hand print. So it is Saturday today, and I just filmed a really cool video for you guys, so I'm pretty excited for you to see it. Um, Saturday is normally a soccer day, but we found out that there was no soccer practice yesterday or a soccer game today. Um, so yeah, we're just taking it easy this Saturday. Milo had a good nap, and now we are playing outside Mommy, again. I caught it. Did you? Yeah. Pet love bug now, yay! on a Saturday evening. It is a rainy Saturday night here in Tampa, Florida. It is, I don't know, it's, I'm gonna have to check if it's rainy season yet or not, but Milo is up here helping me with dinner. So tonight <coughs> it is, the kids are wanting mac and cheese and then I'm having an intro chicken soup. Because it's rainy, I was like, it's the perfect night for soup and this is from Green Chef which is an organic um, meal delivery service and this one says it is keto and gluten free so I do get the two portion meal and then I save the second portion usually for um, like lunch the next day Milo's trying to make um, cookies right are you trying to make a cookie or a cake Muffins, popovers. <coughs> All right, so here are my all of my ingredients. I took them out of the bag. Milo is not impressed. Let me put it over here. No, 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 we're not gonna put daddy's chips on the floor. But it came with cilantro, chicken breast strips, um, I think this is, yeah, cotija, cheese, um, cabbage, pepitas, roasted red peppers, garlic, tomato, onion, uh, I don't know, ancho cumin spice blend, creamy mushroom broth, and then with the onion, it said you received, this onion you received is conventional. And I have no clue what that means. I don't know what conventional means. But this was in like the bag with it. So I was like, hmm, okay. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get dinner started because it is 4 o'clock. And then the kids are having an ever so healthy Kraft Mac and Cheese. Hey you guys, so it is Sunday. And boy, howdy, has it been a day. Um, so I woke up, hold on, I'm not on this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, don't get ahead of yourself. Um, so I woke up with a headache that I went to bed with and that's like never a good sign. And I say headache because I used to get migraines. I honestly think this was a migraine because when I have really bad migraines. I have auras. I didn't have an aura with this, but this was such a bad headache. And it, I took ibuprofen for it. Didn't work. Um, I then a little bit later took Tylenol for it. Didn't work. Magnesium. Everything. Tea. Showers, because that's like my calming thing is showers. I took like three. And the first one that I took when I was like nauseous because I was, I had such a bad headache. Uh, yeah, I trusted my seven year old to watch my one year old. And I was like, I just need to take a quick one just to like feel just a little bit better. Um, just like for the nausea to go away. And if you're new here, my husband's deployed. I don't have anybody to watch my kids right now. It's all me 24 seven, essentially 365 because it's a year long deployment. And um, 
yeah, this was just like the first migraine I've had since being like the solo parent. And whew, Milo decided to take lotion and squirt it all over the carpet and then roll in it and put it through his hair. And I was like, that's okay. It happens, you know, I cleaned it up and it finally went away completely around like 5 p.m. So like a little bit after I ate dinner, and yes, I had eaten fully. I was like, I had drank my coffee. There wasn't anything like that. It was just a really bad headache. So yeah, this Sunday was not a memorable one. So that's okay. It's Sunday. Tomorrow will be Monday. Tomorrow will be a better day, hopefully. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> but it just rained, so nice cleansing rain. I just took a shower. And now since it is Sunday, I'm gonna participate in self-care Sunday with a Tony Moly um, mask sheet. And this is the I'm Honey Nourishing one. So uh, I'm gonna put this. And this is not meant for people with big eyes. So when I put it on, I'll have to show you guys. It's quite amusing. Besides looking like, um, what, Hannibal, right? right. <laughs> uh it's like it goes like right here on my eyes and then it's like that much <laughs> with the holes it's funny it's supposed to be like a full cutout it is not for me and then i'm also gonna put on a little bit of foot cream this is the burt's bees coconut foot cream yeah i'm gonna do that i hope you had a good sunday though if you're new please subscribe please subscribe we're getting there guys we're getting there anyway happy sunday Okay, so this one actually isn't as bad. Um, I swear, I had one by Tony, Tony Moly that like went right across my eyes. But this one uh, doesn't fit terribly bad. It's funny though, I put it on and my dog messer was like, what are you doing, woman? <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of chuckle for your evening. I don't know. Good night. Hey you guys, so it is Monday and just like I thought after my video <laughs> last night, it was a lot um, better of a day <laughs> than yesterday. Um, I, my headache probably officially, like I think I said, it officially went away around like 5 p.m. And today, knock on wood, you know, fingers crossed, touch wood, any of that. It hasn't come back yet, and I am so thankful for that. Like, parenting with a migraine is, I don't want to say impossible because obviously it can be done. But, ooh, it is not ideal. Not ideal at all. But we just had dinner. I heated up leftovers. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really want to cook. I think I would want to cook, but I didn't want to clean. I didn't want to clean up after I cooked, so I decided just to have leftovers, and the kids had, um, little mini corn dogs that we got at Publix, um, broccoli and watermelon, because it's summer, so watermelon's in season now, well, almost summer, it's May, um, which is crazy, it's Milo's birthday month, and my mother-in-law texted me asking, uh, if I had settled on plans for his birthday, and it's May 2nd, and his birthday is May 28th. And I was like, nope, I probably need to do that, don't I? So, <laughs> I still don't know. I think I want it to be like minion theme because he really likes minions. And since he still doesn't really talk much, he kind of talks like a minion. Um, and then I think I want to do something a little different for his cake. Instead of a traditional cake, I kind of think I want to do a um, cookie cake for his birthday. I think that would be like... Milo. He's just a really unique boy. He's a interesting little lad. Today we haven't done much. We went to the library before speech therapy and then we got Chick-fil-A for lunch, which you probably saw on my Instagram. And then we got Penelope from school and I video chatted with Zach. I called my mom and that was about it for our day. Kind of a boring Monday. So it's just like, um, <laughs> don't shoot me, any Italians that watch me, but this is a decaf espresso because I have insomnia, so if I drink full calf, I will not be sleeping at all, and then you guys won't hear from me on Tuesday. But the creamer that I'm using right now, is this one? 
it's not my favorite. It's the Sweet Oat Latte Silk um, Oat Creamer. I definitely prefer the oatmeal cookie one. It just tastes a little bit better, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't really want to waste, uh, what, like $4 worth of creamer? It's not cheap. Just a little splash of creamer. Who's excited for me to do European travel vlogs? I am. We're already starting to like plan our first trips and London is up there with one of our first ones because Zach didn't really get to explore London too much because he lived in England when he was a kid and it kind of left a bad taste in my in-laws mouths. So they're not huge fans of the UK, but I love the UK. So, okay baby. So yeah, I love the UK and I can't wait to go back, but, and I'm just excited to like take the kids and also you're getting my thumb, full view. I'll be right back. So we're here at Walmart and look how cute these are. Italian gelato on a stick. And they have the Berry Berry Cat, cookies and cream paw print, a blueberry yogurt, and this chocatella. Oh, so like Nutella. And then they even have Cool Haas stuff. That's so cool. They don't have that in Target. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. So that in there is the freezing cold. Is it freezing cold? Yeah, in there, mommy. In there. I want, I want my little... Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So, Penelope, I mean not Penelope, Ivy's on break from gymnastics. They do like a summer break. And um, we went to Walmart after speech therapy today. And I honestly don't care for Walmart usually, but I found a hidden gem of one. And I'm so excited to share the haul that I did with you guys. And I think this is just, I'm so, the kids were like all out of snacks. So I was kind of like stressing because I, kids already eat so much anyway. And my kids seem to have the appetite of lions. So we were almost out of snacks. We were out of breakfast, like quick, easy weekly breakfast foods. And um, I also had to get stuff to make them dinner. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from Walmart today. And it wasn't too crowded and this Walmart's really nice. There was two people that struck up conversations with me, an older woman who spoke almost entirely Spanish. And I don't, I don't speak or understand Spanish, but I still like nodded and she was telling me like how beautiful Ivy was and how after two kids she was done. It was like what I gathered from it. So that was nice. And then somebody saw me pick up these um, cookies and they're salute to service cookies. And he was like, oh, are you guys military? So then he had a whole conversation with me about him retiring and stuff. So I was like, ooh, that's nice. But then I feel bad because like my kids are also screaming at the same time, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, time to get to the, to the haul. I haven't done a haul in a while, so. You're welcome. First things first, um, these are all clean. I just need to put them up. So over here we got a pineapple because Ivy loves pineapples. I got some, look at this boo-boo on my finger. It hurts so bad. I'll try not to show you guys it too much. I got some Florida grape tomatoes. I got two mangoes, some strawberries, and some fresh salsa. Then I got the kids some Mount Olive, um, snack gherkins i know i'll light the candle in just a minute go finish eating for me okay thank you and then this was on sale so i thought i'd try it it's um all-purpose seasoning paleo powder pink and it, the main thing is that it has uh himalayan pink salt but it was on sale so i wanted to get it and this was another thing that i did not need but i wanted to try and it's the tarani coffee syrup. This is a new flavor. It's French toast. That just drew me in. Um, and then I'm going to be making some strawberry oatmeal bars for the kids. So I needed some strawberry preserves and then some honey. We're making pancakes this weekend. So I had to get some more pancake syrup. And then I think one of the kids accidentally snuck this in because I did not need it, nor do we eat this. So that's fun. 
Okay, and then I got, Great Value is the Walmart brand. So I got some Great Value banana chips. I thought maybe Milo might like to try these. And then I got some dried cranberries and some dried cherries. And then this is the, you guys know I like Alani New. I like this company um, for health supplements. So this is a flavor that they only pushed out to Walmart was Blue Slush. And I've been looking for it for months. And they actually, this Walmart had it. So I got a six pack of them. So I'm excited to try those. And then I got some no sugar added fruit cups for the kids. Some Walmart brand vanilla wafers. I told Zach, I'm pretty sure these were around when we were kids. Uh, this strikes a memory for me, like for the 90s or early 2000s, but I can't remember. But uh, I saw these and I had to get them. Peel and build a little pizza slices, fruit roll-ups. And then Milo felt bad. He needed to pick out one too. So he got the Minions Rise of Gru gummies. Some more rice cakes, because this is what Penelope likes in the morning with, um, like, peanut butter and bananas and then they didn't have like any oat milk so I got the silk unsweetened coconut milk and then I got Cabot vanilla bean Greek yogurt and then we got bananas some seedless mandarin oranges some granny smith apples and a bag of avocados I got some La Bandarita flour tortillas, my favorite. Some 100% whole wheat Arnold bread. Some hot dog buns. And then I'm going to make the kids sandwiches on some Hawaiian sweet rolls. So I mentioned that it's the kids had been wanting some pancakes. So I thought I'd make some, I'd be a cool mom this weekend and make these amazing sounding Mrs. Butterworth's epic Fruity Pebbles Pancake Kit. I thought it sounded right up the kid's alley. I, hopefully they'll like them, because I don't care for pancakes that much, but I also got these for when Zach comes home, because he's a huge Dunkaroos fan, and they had Dunkaroos, like he loves Dunkaroos everything. So they had Dunkaroo Rainbow Sprinkle Pancake Kit with Rainbow Sprinkle Frosting. So, got those to save for when he comes home. I got some flax seeds because they are going in a um, a breakfast cookie recipe for the kids to have. So whole flax seeds, which are actually kind of hard to find here. Okay, hold on. I got some more butter, some taco blend shredded cheese, some string cheese, and some sliced Colby Jack cheese. I got a huge jug of Juicy Juice, which I didn't even know they made them in this size, but I just got apple Juicy Juice. Um, I got this to have for Penelope to have for a lunch. I think on Friday I might make it special. And then some brown sugar ultra thin ham and some oven roasted turkey breast deli meat. These were the cookies that I told you that guy talked to me about. I had to get them. It's Without military families and needs with the code on back of the pack. Salute to service. You know, military family. If you're new here, we're a military family. Then I got pizza crust to make these pizza pockets for the kids for dinner this week. Crescent rolls to make some, oh gosh, pigs in a blanket. Some strawberry Eggo pancakes. And then the kids love these mini cinnamon toast. And But Ivy is on a huge French toast kit. Oh my gosh. French toast sticks kick. So I got, they had original that I got those and then I cut up hers normally. And so I saw they had these French toast bites. So that's what I went ahead and got her, her the French toast bites too to try. Cause yeah, she, she goes through like the value packs of those on her own. And then over here, I got some more Kool-Aid jammers for Penelope's lunches, school lunches. Milo ripped the pack open of these but they are the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Paw Patrols, kombucha for me, some baby goldfish, and then a, I didn't even know they made family size goldfish. Family size goldfish. The kids love these um, vanilla wafer cookies, or they like any of the flavor of wafer cookies, but these were in a twin pack, so it was like two for the price of one. Um, I got some grass-fed ground beef, and then I got free-range chicken, 
some frozen blueberries to make a um, blueberry breakfast cake. Some black beans. I'm going to make black bean brownies. <laughs> That's everything sweet, guys. Cream of mushroom soup for a dinner. A can of Rotel for a dinner. It goes with the shell pasta. And then pretzels and Tostitos. And that is it. All of that. Like, that's a pretty good haul. That's a lot of stuff, I feel like. I'm pretty proud of that. It was a good, good shopping experience today at Walmart. Best one I think I've had. Ivy's being a boss right now, she said. She said everybody calls her boss. So she's got her cane and then she keeps putting her hand behind her back. But I but she said Penelope's still her sister. Oh. Is is this your baby butler? Oh, okay. All right, we made it to Friday. Um, not unscathed though. I burned my arm. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Yesterday when I was doing my hair and it didn't, it took a minute to register that my skin was sizzling. Um, yeah. And then Milo woke up with a fever. And so I had to call the doctor and schedule an appointment. And it turns out he tested positive for flu B. So it's not as bad as flu A, I guess. Uh, and I'm almost positive. This is what I brought Ivy in for like two weeks ago and they didn't swab her. So I was like, cool, all of this could have been, and like Milo's past the point of being able to take Tamiflu. So he's just kind of got to like tough it out on his own now. Um, besides me, you know, helping with fevers and aching and just treating symptoms. But man, kids have been sick so often lately. And I feel like we're pretty clean people. Like, I'm big on hand sanitizing, hand washing. I, you know, I'm big on wiping down everything. And yet, they're still, they've gotten sick, like, four times in the past eight weeks. Which is crazy. But, the weekend is here, so, um, today, it's Friday, so Penelope went to school. Because, obviously, she's feeling fine. She doesn't have any symptoms of anything. I just fixed breakfast for the babies. I just ate my breakfast, which I wouldn't show you guys, but it was kind of boring. Just half an avocado and um, an over easy egg. And then some of the paleo powder that I showed you guys in my Walmart haul. That was on top. Um, we have soccer practice today and to get this vlog edited because I was gonna end it on Wednesday and I was like no I need to go all the way to Friday so it's gonna be kind of longer but feel it felt weird putting out a weekly vlog but only vlogging half the week like you can't really call it a weekly vlog and half half week vlog sounds stupid so <laughs> I wanted to go until Friday but I didn't do anything yesterday because obviously it was chaotic at the doctors my had to have a chest x-ray and everything because the doctor was worried about pneumonia but it is what it is, you know, and I want to be like completely transparent because I just feel like it's refreshing transparency. Um, maybe not, but yeah. Oh, and I have laundry to do today. So soccer, laundry, getting Milo resting. I have a workout to do. Um, I think that's it. Well, it is officially Friday night, and Hi. we didn't really do much today, so but we're at soccer, so we're going to go to soccer, and then um, we just finish off our day. Go home, bath time, all that stuff. Movie. Maybe movie. Ivy gets to pick Yeah, we'll see you guys boy. in the next one. Bye. Bye.